Alright, I have tried to get um, a unit of each type for my Cult Mechanicus and Admech, but one unit I do not have is Cataphon Breachers. So I have my Destroyer stand in for. Cataphon Breachers are 150 points. They are a troop choice for the Mechanicus army. They are weapon skill 3, ballistic skill 3. They are strength and toughness of 5, so really tough buggers. Two wounds each. They are initiative three. They have one attack. They are leadership eight and a three plus save. They come with Catafran Breacher Plates. Now we have to go back and look at that. Make sure, just because it says it, don't, don't just skip over that. Because Catafran Breacher Plate gives you a three plus armor save. No involve. They come standard with a heavy arc rifle and an arc claw. Mechanicals of the Omnisci and very bulky. Their special rule is heavy battle servitors. That means they cannot make run ruse, but they can fire up to two weapons in each shooting phase, so they can use a two shooty weapons. Further forward models with a special rule count as stationary when firing heavy or salvo weapons even if they moved in the preceding movement phase, and are allowed to charge in the same turn that they fire rapid fire heavy or salvo weapons. You can have up to 12 in the unit, so additional 9 plus the 3 you have is 12. Uh, they can replace the heavy arc rifle with a torsion cannon for free, and they can replace their arc claw with a hydraulic claw. So let's go look at these guys, their different weapon options. They can start off with the heavy arc rifle. Let's see if I can find that. Heavy arc rifle, where are you? Ah, 36 inch range, pretty decent. Strength 6, AP 5, Heavy 2, Haywire. Loving the Haywire. Very nice. Definitely good for taking out um, enemy vehicles, walkers, anything that Haywire is useful against. And their Arc Claw is also, I believe, Haywire. Yes, it is. It's Strength plus 1, so on them, that gives it a Strength 6, AP 5, Melee Haywire. So, a melee weapon. thing you'll notice is that they have Heavy Battle Servitor Rule that allows them to shoot two weapons, but they don't have two shooting weapons. Nor do I believe they have the option to get two shooting weapons, because they can replace the Arc Rifle with Cannon and the Arc Claw with a Hydraulic Claw. So, let's see the Torsion Cannon. I believe this one is pretty cool. Yeah, it is. Range 24, so a little bit shorter range. But it is Strength 8, AP 1, Heavy 1, Gravit... Gravit... Gravitonic? Gravitic? Contortion. Each time a non-vehicle model suffers an unsaved wound from this weapon, it loses D3 wounds instead of only 1. Each time a vehicle model suffers a penetrating hit from this weapon, it loses D3 hole points instead of 1. <laughs> So yeah, this thing is nasty. <laughs> you can you can do I mean three wounds. <laughs> so against regular like infantry, you know, each it says each time a model suffers a wound, it loses D three wounds. So most models only have one wounds. But if you have a um character like a captain space marine captain or something like that dude man's gonna take three up to three wounds and then they just take the wounds they have they have the one unsaved wound they're like oh i didn't save that wound then you say hey so i gotta roll the d3 boom three yeah <laughs> nope you lose three wounds and in some cases that'll just kill them they'll be gone um and a vehicle three hull points a lot of vehicles, they're gone. That's three hole points. Um, you know, even Imperial Knight, two hits from these guys, unsaved, and whew, you're in trouble, right? Loses D3 hole points instead of just one. Devastating weapon. Devastating weapon. Torsion cannons are a free swap out. Personally, me, Haywire is great, but dude. <laughs> Uh, strength 5 AP 5 versus Strength 8 AP 1. Yeah, it's two shots here, but this is one of the times I'm going to take the one shot because I got a big unit of these, and, yeah, we're going to just mess stuff up in the face. So I do need to get more of these guys. I want to get more of these guys so I can get me some 
breachers. Because the one unit I don't have that I really want to have in the thing. Uh, in my army choice. Alright, so the last thing we have to look at is that hydraulic claw. It's a 10 point upgrade. So it's strength plus 2 versus plus 1. So you're going to strength 7. AP dash, so no AP on this. Melee, iron grasp, unwieldy. So um, iron grasp is when a model equipped with a hydraulic claw makes its close combat attacks, it can choose instead to make a single grasp attack. So for these guys, they're only making one attack anyway, so you might as well choose to make the grasp attack, right? If so, roll it to hit roll as normal, but resolve the attack at double the model's strength to a maximum of 10 and AP 2. So, these model strength is 5, so you're going to double that, so it is going to go to 10, so you're going to make one strength 10 AP 2 attack with this hydraulic claw on the breachers. So basically, the hydraulic claw gets them a strength 10 AP 2 attack, which is nice, awesome, very cool attack. Um... I think worth that, worth putting at least one of those in the unit, I mean, depending on how your points work out, but maybe a few of those in there, scatter them about for some nastiness surprise for your opponents. Alright, so those are the Breachers, a very good unit, an awesome unit. Um, one I haven't tried in combat, like I said, because I don't have any, but one I am most definitely would love to try, would love to have, but when I got to the... Um, the kit for the Breachers Destroyers, it's in the same kit. Um, I wanted to do the other formation that requires two units of these Destroyers, and so I, I had only gotten two kits, and so I've made both of them into Destroyers. But later on, I am going to get two kits and make them into Breachers, because Breachers are cool. So, very cool, very tough, and um, although while an expensive um, troop choice, a very nasty, nasty troop choice. Very very devastating unit all right guys uh let me know what you think about the breachers uh how would you use them in combat down in the comments below if you like this video just give me the thumbs up and com comment in the comment section like i said subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and hit that bell icon for updates when uh, new videos come out other than that i thank you very much for your time and i'll talk to you later